So I guess I need a fish. But doggone largemouth. Give y'all a close up of him there. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? First off, I'd like to thank y'all for watching another episode of Whisker River. I apologize, I haven't got a movie out in a while. Um, I've been busy working. Then for about the past week and a half, it's done nothing but rain. Well, I finally got out here today. I'm here at Fort Loudon Dam. It's the end of September. The fall body hasn't took off yet, but we're kind of in that transition. I give it probably about another two, two and a half weeks before it takes off real good. Um, the reason I come here to Fort Loudon Dam is we've had all that rain. They're running quite a bit of water. Generators are running. I'm here on the lock side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw out here towards the wall towards the main channel as far as I can. I'm gonna use a large piece of skipjack head right now. It's frozen bait, it ain't fresh. I haven't been able to get on no fresh bait yet. With the rain and the way everything's been with work and all, <laughs> I haven't been able to get out here to the water and try. Skipjacks are still hard though. People are getting them, but they still are hard. They haven't started to move in yet. Anyhow, let's get this bait in the water. All the trash people leave around here. I don't know why they can't pick up after themselves. It ain't hard to bring a bucket and throw all your stuff in when you leave. I got my sock leader knot over there. I don't want it to cut my thumb. Let's move it to the side. There we go. Also, while we're waiting on a buddy here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Foley spoon today. I don't know if there'll be any skipjack here on the lock side. If there is any, they're probably over where they're running water. But I wanted to catch a blue today, and I'm thinking this might be a good spot to get a trophy blue. Maybe even hit a new personal best for myself. Right now, my personal best is 34 pound. I like to beat that. Actually, I think I seen a skipjack just break the water. Let's get a rod out and try. There's definitely movement here. I don't know if it's skipjack or it could be some carp. But there's definitely movement. I'm using here is a char choice fully spoon and yes I'm using a 10 foot surf rod the reason why I'm using a one ounce drift sinker on it and it allows me to throw between 60 and 80 yard with my spoon sometimes I need to get that far to get the skipjack I think it was a carpet was over there moving instead of skipjack because there's one that just jumped out of the water pretty high did a little flip-flop thing I was able to see him I take that back a little bass now I don't want a little bass but at least I caught a fish in order to have a fishing video I guess I need a fish Doggone largemouth. Give y'all a close up of him there. 
Here I thought I had a skipjack. Doggone largemouth. Let's hope that ain't the only thing I catch today. I hope I just didn't jinx myself. I don't want no dink bite anyhow. I want to wait till it takes off. I want something that's going to give me a good pull, try to pull me in the water. Something that can feel drag off that reel, that new Daiwa. That's what we want. <clears throat> Hopefully we get it today. One bad thing is about fishing here on the lock side of the dam is I ain't got much room to do a hook set. Arms getting tired throwing that heavy pull. Well, actually, it ain't too heavy. But I've been throwing it all day for skipjack, so I'm gonna wait to see if I see anything busting water or showing sign of skipjack, and then I'll throw it. they would come after I called them. much room to do a hook set here. That acted like a flathead bite. Maybe he'll grab it again. Alright, I had to move my camera for you all. The sun there came out. And I don't know how well you'd all be able to see. It would have been right in the lens. I've been here now over an hour. I've had the one bite that I missed. And that doggone bass. And that's been it. I'm hoping something will grab this and run here soon so I can get a fish for camera besides that little bitty old doggone bass.
may end up reeling in and taking that old skipjack head off. It's been soaking for a good while. Put me a fresh piece of bloody bait on there. Sometimes them skipjack heads, they really want them, and sometimes they don't. Whiskers, big whiskers, where are you at? Big whiskers, big whiskers, come eat my skipjack. Fish, fish, fish. A silver spoon. Maybe that's my problem. I've been using that charge release one. I thought maybe the sun was coming out. We'd try this silver one to get a splash in the water. I got it tied on. It looks like the sun's going to be on clouds again. But we'll try it anyhow. guys not a big one but it's a skipjack Striper bait. Let's get back out there. I wanted to catch big blue for this video or just a blue at all for that matter so I had a decent fish in the fishing video for y'all but I guess I need to get some bait videos out there and this here might be one of them that ain't a good bait video but then again maybe it is it shows y'all that are wanting to be catfishermen 
You're gonna fish these bodies of water. Shows you all how hard it is to actually get the bait to catch these skipjack. Some people just say the heck with it and they go for bluegill or they use gizzard shad. There's nothing wrong with that. You will catch good fish on gizzard shad and bluegill, but I have found that the skipjack, it's like a catfish candy. They love it. Today they don't love it very much, but most of the time they do. Here in about two, two and a half weeks, once this full transition kicks over, these fish start moving closer to the bank, out of these deeper waters, you'll see we'll be able to catch some good fish. Anyhow, I'd like to thank you all for watching Whisker River. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Please hit that like button. I'm going to try to get some videos out more on a regular basis. I am busy with work this time of year before winter. It is my favorite time of the year to fish also, so I'm going to try to get out here as much as possible. I need to get out here some more and do some uh, bait fishing. I got to get stocked up on some skipjack to get me through the winter. Until then though, thank you all for watching.